hello, this is Ron back with Ron's uh, you know, YouTube channel here where we cover a lot of drones, GoPros, uh, ca all sorts of camera gear, and uh, general all-around tech. So uh, here today, we're back here with a drone video. And, uh, you know, I'm running the screen recording here. The drone's already in the air. We've done all our safety checks, and we've used the before fly app to see if there's any, um, if we want to make sure we're in class G and no, uh, you know, no flight restrictions. Everything's good here. Wind's good. Uh, all conditions are good. Uh, but I wanted to run a little thing by you here. We had a app version upgrade just a couple days ago. Today is the uh, 19th. I think it arrived maybe on the 16th, just, just this week. I think it was Monday. Um, and uh, it's app version 1.6.1, which you can see in the um, the About section of the Fly app. Uh, you know, And I've got the uh, Mavic, uh, in the Mavic, the DJI Air 2S uh, in the air right now. Uh, we're standing right, come almost right underneath it right now, um, and uh, it it you know the fur in the uh, app version notes it said it added um, you know of course it added the Mini Three Pro to the app so you could choose that as one of the aircraft, and I'll show you that when I'm done the flight how you can choose different different aircraft. But that is in there now. It also said it added raw photo capabilities to. Um, the Air 2S, so we will kind of dive in and look at that a little bit. So you can see here we're, we're flying on aircraft firmware uh, uh, .2, uh, uh, I mean, 02.04.21550, and the, and the fly, fly safe database of uh, 01.00.01.26. So that's what we're working with here. And again, this is uh, May 19th, so... Uh, yeah, that's what we're working with today. So, okay, I'm out here. I'm, I'm actually over the dunes right now. There's the beach in front of us here. Beautiful day here at the Jersey Shore, finally. It's been a rough uh, spring, but, uh, you know, we are looking good now. So, um, yeah, so, okay, right now we're in. We're not even the, doing screen recording. We're not even recording a drone video, but we will start the video the video now so we're recording drone video now so we're in kind of ba our basic uh, auto settings here right now 4k 30 we're all dr auto here um so you see i got my histogram up here i prefer using the histogram over the overexposure warning that leaves those kind of red things all over your screen so uh as you can see the histograms like really good now perfect almost uh everything towards the middle nothing's on the edges so yeah everything's looking good so um Let's go in here and explore around a little bit here in the uh, settings here. So, um, you know, we're, we're in video. Oh, we're, okay, so we're in shoes. We're unable to switch, switch modes here, of course. So this, um, down here at the bottom, this uh, you can still switch from auto to your pro. You have to stop everything. I forgot. So let's stop the video here. And, uh, you know, are down here in the right-hand corner, everything still kind of looks the same here. We can go into our pro settings here, and you can click, hit anywhere, and you can get this little box here, neat box, where you can kind of control a lot of your stuff. So we, so we really got everything kind of Dr. Auto here. Uh, but then, you know, that's one panel. You can go over to the uh, thing that looks like a camera shutter, and you can see the other panel here with the, you know, the ISO, the shutter, and the uh, e EV there. So, um, Yes, yeah, so we're, uh, you know, technically we're um, 30 frames per second, so we should probably turn this down to, uh, wrong way here, wrong way. Uh, we should turn this down to 60 there. So, uh, yeah, it still looks good. Uh, we may have to change that. I got a, a, a Freewell um, 32ND slash polarized filter on the drone right now. So hopefully that'll allow us to keep our shutter speed at what it should be. So, okay, let's uh, get out of there. So, let's see if we can find anything new in the camera settings here. Now, uh, we're videos so we have normal and the slow motion, and slow motion will bump you down to 1080p, 120 uh, frames per second. You cannot change that. So, um, uh, let's see, that's it on that. So, let's go back to normal. Okay, we got our photo options here. As always, we the same ones uh, single, smart, uh, uh, auto exposure bracket, uh, burst, and time photo so uh let's go back to single photo and uh let's look at our options here okay so uh let's click this box up again here and we can shoot in we have in raw now we can shoot in jpeg raw or j plus r that's jpeg plus raw and you know i think that feature 
I thought that feature was there before, but I got too many drones. Maybe that was in the um, the Mavic 3, and uh, maybe they just added the ability to shoot uh, raw by itself. Usually, a lot of these drones, what they do is they give you either, you have two options, either JPEG or uh, JPEG plus raw. And a lot of people want to take raw photos only because they don't want, you know, all the extra, you know, files, those JPEG files around because they never use them. They always edit their raws. And it's totally up to you whether you, you that, that's your workflow or, or not. But it's good to have options. So the fact that they added just raw by itself and not, not you know, lumped it in with JPEG plus raw is a good thing. But for today's purposes, we're just going to shoot JPEG. Uh, this is, you know, de demonstration only here. Okay, so maybe that was the, the raw camera update uh, that we talked about here. So let's, uh, let's go back here and let's look at Smart Photo. Okay, now, Smart Photo is one of those things that kind of combines HDR, tone mapping, it combines like a lot of things and, and creates a uh, basically a process photo for you that, that you don't have to uh, go in and uh, do a lot of, uh, you know, post-processing in your editor in Lightroom or wherever you happen to use. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll throw a plug out to Luminar Nemo, uh, Neo, one of my favorite editors. So, okay, down here, though, let's go back into the... Uh, the at auto menu here. Okay, so auto. Let's see. Let's go back. Okay, so here even in Smart Photo we have the option of JPEG raw and JPEG plus raw. And I think that's new. I think that I think Smart Photo used to be raw only. So that's a big deal, really, because um, you know, it used to be you could only shoot that in JPEG, and uh, it only allowed you so much flexibility in your editor to kind of push things around, like such things as color, highlights, um, you know, expose your shadows. So that's great that now they have a raw option in there, similar to what Apple did a couple of years ago, where uh, you know, they used to have a, a HDR photo mode, and, and I, I don't think they even have them, but they have like a, you know, a mode where you could turn on where it takes a kind of a smart photo, and it used to be a, a JPEG only, and then they allowed you, now they allow you to shoot that raw, so you you could take all the computational photography stuff that they do to make a photo look better and actually, you know, be able to shoot it in RAW where it used to be only a JPEG. If you wanted to shoot RAW on an iPhone, you had to shoot in, you know, like a, you know, like a basic mode where you got no advantage of all the computational photography. So anyhow, the, the quick, the gist of it here is looks like uh, DJI is doing the same thing. So that is a, you know, that's a big win here for people to take a lot of photos. So, okay, let's go and auto expose your white balance bracketing here. Boom. Uh, you know, uh, I guess that got the raw only thing added to it also. So, you know, good kudos to DJI. They're doing a good job here. And uh, Burst. Oh, wow. I don't think this was there before. Uh, oh, no. In Burst, uh, you take three, five, seven. Okay, now I, I was getting confused. I was thinking we were auto exposure white bracket. I, I don't do much Burst photos. I, I, I think that was there before, but I'm not sure. Okay, and. Uh, Auto exposure bracketing is still three or five. I think in the um, in the Mavic Three, it's uh, three, five, or seven. So um, okay, it's still the same here. And time shot uh, looks like it's still the same here. Okay, so that that ends it for the photo uh, mode here. Uh, we let's go back to uh, let's keep it good old smart photos, especially now that you can add it a little bit better. Um, okay, let's go in the video. Uh, looks like video mode is about the same. Master shots. Uh, quick shot modes. Okay, it looks like everything's kind of the same there. What else do we have here? Hyperlapse. Free circle. Course lock. Waypoint. That, that seems appears to be the same also. And let's go into the Pato Spear. 180 wide angle and vertical they all that's all been there too so okay nothing has changed there so let's go back to just uh let's go back to the video and uh and that's it so i think that's it for the changes i i you know i'm not gonna uh, bore you i went through all these menus here you know the the safety uh you know nothing looks like it's changed in um any of these menus here, I kind of looked at them off screen. We could go through everything one by one, but if I thought of something there there for you to uh, look at, I would do it, but uh, I think everything's just the same as it was before, so we will skip uh, going through all this one by one. So, all right, I hope you like that little um, tutorial here of um, 
you know, uh, the update for the, uh, it, it didn't get a firmware update, it's got, got app update for the, uh, the Air, Air, the Fly app got an update that affects the uh, Mini 3 Pro and the Air 2S. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, so let's start recording here and take a little run down the beach and see how this, how she's flying today. So you can see um, the beach season hasn't opened officially here. Um, it will be you know, Memorial Day weekend. This beach will not be empty like this. I mean, the weather is a little bit better now. I don't know if it's sitting on the beach weather yet, but it's definitely walking around the beach weather now. So, okay, let's gain a little altitude here. And let's uh, take a little run down the beach here, see what we can see here. So, yeah, here's beautiful Margate City here down to Jersey Shore. Summer capital of uh, summer capital of the world here. I'm just kidding here. We're sort of a sleepy bedroom town. We don't have, you know, boardwalks. And music. you can see they put those blue mats in to help people get out to the beaches with their carts, and their beach carts and baby strollers and what have you. So that's good. We'll get loud to here. There you see somebody walking the beach. It could even be a dog walker. We're just riding down to Berm here. And you can see ahead now that boardwalk is in the next town down. That's um that's called Ventnor City. Next town over from Margate. And uh, it's a little bit bigger town in Margate. We're getting a weak signal here. We'll come back here in a second. You, when you get the weak signal, sometimes just go higher here, and that'll help you get it back. We'll adjust the antennas here a little bit, like it said. So we were about 2,600 feet out here. So, it, you know, eventually it'll go. In a, oh, we got it back here. Just a, me moving just a little bit. Saw the problem there. So, um We'll push on down. We're almost to the boardwalk. We'll push on down just a little bit more. We got our good signal back. We just gained a little height here. This thing has really good signal on it, of course. OcuSync uh, 3 and all that. So, yeah. So, that's it. so, let's stop the recording here. And let's go into our, um, you know, let's go into our photo mode here. Uh, our photos. And let's keep on smart mode here. And let's take a, let's just take a little JPEG here. Alrighty, and I don't get that, you know, I, I can't hear that clicky sound, but you may because I got, I'm doing a screen recording, so I'm tying up the drone's audio here. So, yeah. We'll take another photo here. Get a little smart photos. Alright, so let's come back. Let's see, if we turn the drone all the way around, let's see if that would affect the signal at all here. I don't think so. So let's come on, come on back. Get over the berm again here in case somebody's down there on the beach. I don't see anybody. You're not allowed to be in the berm, so safe to fly over the berm, the dune. Let's get another picture here of the uh, our favorite fishing pier, the Margate fishing pier. These pictures aren't quite as good as the other ones I took because you see the sun, I'm looking into the sun. We have the sun behind you. You everything looks a little bit better, you know. So Alright. Let's uh let's go back and shoot some more video here now. On the way back. On the return trip. Shoot our video. And we're still, you know, we still got our uh, perfect thing there. We got our shooting to 4K 30 and 60 frames per second. So we're doing good here. That N D 30, 32 is working perfectly to keep our shutter speed uh, right and also keep our exposure pretty good. Now I'm blowing out the sky a little bit here as you see. So let me stop. Let me stop here and uh, see if I could go into my um, EV here. Let's see. What's uh, with it? Okay, that may be a little bit better. See the you can see details in the clouds now. Let me go 07. A bit too dark. Oh, three may be perfect. You you be the judge at home. Uh, but we got a little detail in the clouds now. Let's hope we didn't crush the shadows down here. So, we'll, but we'll try it. See see what it looks like. 
as we come on back home. Somebody walk on the beach, but stay away from him. Alrighty, let's, uh, if that, you know, I can only tell so much on the monitor. Let's, um, let's change that to zero and see if that's the better setting. See if, uh, maybe I was just crushing the shadows too much, so we'll, we'll try it this way. Fly along this berm a little bit more. And these are, you know, the beachside uh, houses here in Margate City, the expensive real estate here, beachfront real estate, of course. Everybody wants to be beach beachfront down here, you know. Everybody wants to look out that window and see those beautiful waves, of course, with all these dune buildings you did here in New Jersey. Uh, you, you don't get to see it like you did in the old days. All right, so we're just touring around. So this thing's flying perfectly on the new uh, app update. Uh, I don't see any issues whatsoever. Uh, this drone is one of the best drones there is, really, the Air 2 has. As far as price per... Battery level is low. Uh, we got, the we got will low battery to turns. So we're, gonna, we're just going to let it come home. It's at 22. We're not that far away, so Go we're just going to let it come home on its own. See how she does. Let's see if I can change that EV again, since uh, we probably want to go... There we go. That looks a little bit better. So she's coming back. 